Hey, boy, I gotta talk to you. Bishop, no, no disrespect intended, but please don't call me boy. I hate that. I mean, that's one of my pet peeves in life is when people call me boy because I'm not a boy. I'm a man. I haven't been a boy for more than 10 years. I mean, I hate it when people call me boy, especially my father. Of course, I don't say anything to him about that because he may kick me out of the house, but I digress. But look, I can sense that there's a problem. So what's going on? I hear that you're leaving the ACNA to join the Episcopal Church. That's right, I am. What in tarnation's wrong with you, boy? I thought I told you not to call me boy. Thanks. The Episcopal Church ain't a Bible-believing church anymore. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff, like gay marriage. And if you become a priest in the Episcopal Church, you're gonna be celebrating gay marriages. Not under the Central Florida Diocese. How's that again? Look, we live in Central Florida. And under the Central Florida Diocese, you know, the Episcopal Diocese of Central Florida is one of the few remaining biblically conservative and orthodox dioceses in all of the Episcopal Church in the United States. We don't celebrate gay marriages in the Central Florida Diocese. So, it's not really a problem. Well, that may be true, but Lance, what if you get transferred to another diocese, like maybe an Episcopal Diocese in Michigan or Missouri or even Texas? Well, if I was going to be transferred to an Episcopal Diocese in Texas, I would hope it would be the Dallas Diocese because they're likewise biblically conservative. That, that's not the point. You don't know if you're ever going to be transferred to another diocese at all. That's not going to be your choice. It's going to be, a cho it's going to be the choice of the powers that be in the Episcopal Church. You may find yourself in Michigan, Missouri, Wyoming, California, Oregon. You don't know where you're going to go. Lance, what is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Look, I feel like I went as far as I could possibly go with the ACNA, but I just feel like that the ACNA was not giving me all the opportunities that I felt that I needed to have in order to accomplish the goals that I have, you know, when it comes to going to seminary and becoming a priest. And I feel like the Episcopal Church can give me a lot more opportunities, the opportunities that I'm looking for. So, and fortunately, like I said, I live in Central Florida under the Central Florida Diocese of the Episcopal Church. So I don't think I'm going to have any issues. So this is not really something for us to be worried about. Look, I'm going to be fine, okay? I did this because I feel like that this is the best decision for me. Can you understand that? Well, fine. I mean, that's what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. I mean, look, look, Dan, it's your life. It's your life. You do whatever you want. But I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray that God will bring you to your senses and you will leave the Episcopal Church and stay in the Anglican Church in North America. Fine. Whatever. 